what is going on hooligans vlog day actually the last vlog for 2017 that's pretty crazy didn't realize that till right now it's all right it's all good that doesn't add any pressure or anything to the vlog i don't i don't have to make the last year of the vlog any different or any more special or anything <laughs> So what's going to happen today? Uh, I wasn't able to do yesterday's life lessons. I didn't see the topic come in until like super late. Um, it probably came in earlier. I just, I didn't notice it. Uh, but either way, this video is basically, we're going to do a quick life lessons in the vlog. Like I'm going to include it in here. Um, and we'll take it from there. We'll see what happens with the day. Uh, it's pretty fucking cold today. The past two days, it's, I think it's been like minus 20 or something like that in that range anyway. So, you know, Canadian shit, I guess. I have no idea what's going on for today, other than, like, the life lessons and stuff. Um, I'm sure there will be some silly shenanigans throughout the way, though. Let's roll that intro. <laughs> Life Lessons with Juby. I am your host, Juby the Kid. Hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, at J-U-B-Y-T-H-A-K-I-D. Let's get to the topic. Loyalist city photos. Five countries you'd like to visit and why. All right, let me pull up a list of countries here so I don't say something wrong and then people are like, oh, it's not a country. All right, let's go. Uh, as weird as it might sound, uh, Afghanistan would be actually really, really cool. Um, people don't understand the history and the culture. Uh, there's on it. There's, there's so many, so many lessons to learn there. Um, uh, new knowledge. I would love to go, uh, to Afghanistan for sure. Uh, da, da, da. Egypt, man, Egypt. I just, I feel like I don't even need to go into that, but I'm going to actually fuck it. Uh, Egypt. I just, to even be in the presence of that land with so much like ancient Egypt, you know, people can debate all they want about where the Sphinx came from and all this shit. But when actual scientists in the field keep finding evidence that puts us back to, I think it was 20,000 BC. It had, I think it was, it was around 20,000 BC where they find, like, this evidence of whether it was humans or other beings that existed in, like, in that area. You know what I mean? Uh, Egypt, Egypt has always held a special place in my heart. Like, ever since I was a kid, I've always loved ancient Egyptian, like, stories and, like, I don't want to say culture, but you know what I mean. Um, I would just to, just to even stand near the pyramids or the Sphinx, or any other, like, honestly, like, just ancient, uh, uh, site there, I just, I don't know, I would, I'm, I'm, I'm losing words even thinking about it, um, I would love to go there, for sure, so Egypt is number two, these aren't in any order, because I'm going down, like, a list, so, Japan, I would love to go to Japan, I've always wanted to actually go there, um, don't mean to sound racist, but I think, one of like a big reason why I've always wanted to go to Japan is because I've always loved um, the like the stories of feudal Japan and like uh, samurais and really like how samurais came to like end up uh, creating this kendo sport and everything. It's just uh, J Japan again. It's just a very rich history, tons of knowledge there. But yeah, that's three. New Zealand. I would I would like to go to New Zealand for sure. Uh, see a lot of these trips like it's you know it's. It's kind of due to history, and like I want, I just I want to learn. You know what I mean? Um, New Zealand, the Maori warriors, you know th this tribe of people that tattooing your face and all over your body was like kind of part of that culture. It's just uh, I don't know. Maori warriors. It's if you guys ever get a chance to do some research on those on like that type of thing, definitely go for it. like learn as much as you can uh, learn as much as you can about all these places uh, but New Zealand we, we are, you know I would love to go to where they shot like uh, fluff I'd love to go where they shot like uh, some of the Middle Earth stuff because apparently they like didn't take any of those like Hobbit houses out of the 
hills and everything. Which is weird, because, like, they did the fucking Hobbit movies, and instead of just, like, retouching all of those Hobbit houses, they just, like, green-screened the entire thing. I just, whatever, that's, that's not what we're talking about. Yeah, New Zealand would definitely be on there. Um, the UK. I'm, like, I don't want to be wrong, so I'm gonna, just gonna fucking click it. Uh, okay. Yep, Scotland is part of the UK. So I would go, so, nowhere else really in the UK, except Scotland. Uh, that's where my family's from. Uh, I know a lot about my family. I would love to f be able to go to Aberdeenshire and Nairn and really like try and like track more down. You know what I mean? So I don't know. Scotland is Scotland is always number one. These aren't in any order really, but Scotland it takes the top spot no matter what. William Wallace shit. You know what I'm saying? I was four. So one more. One more. Hmm. Uh, where's, I, just, I don't, I know what I want to say, I just, I really don't want to say, like, a city or something, if it's, you know what I mean, it's supposed to be countries, Sweden, bam, okay, Sweden, it, it, okay, if I had my choice, it would be, like, I'd go on a trip, I'd basically go from, like, I'd start in Scotland, go down to, like, Sweden, actually, we have a map here, so let me look at this. So I had it backwards. Norway and Sweden are up here, so there's Oslo and everything. And we go down this way, to, we go to Scotland, spend some time there. And then, it would be fucking cool just to like, take a, like a huge, long, like, boat trip. Like, the old travelers. Man, that'd be so cool. And then we go from Scotland down to Egypt. Where are we? Where are we? Okay, bam, Scotland, Egypt, and then Australia's down there. So where are we for New Zealand? Oh my goodness, from Egypt down to New Zealand, gee goodness, and then up to Japan, and then back to Scotland, so I can end it there too. Man, just going to Sweden and being able to like walk some of those lands, you know what I mean, just to be able to... Again, just like be in that land and then think about like the history that was there, the the Norse warriors, the Norse, uh, I don't want to say campers, but you know what I mean, like the communities. Um, I would just, it, it would be so amazing, you know what I mean, just to stand on the edge of the water where Vikings took sail for one of the first time, you know what I mean, it's just, oh man, that'd be so, that'd be so beautiful. Um if you're like, you know, some rich billionaire and you want to fund this trip or take me with you, I just, you know, I don't, I'd rather not exchange sexual favors or anything, but, uh, you know, I'll keep you company, see the world, why not? This has been a Life Lessons with Juvie, included in the blog. Either way, I've been your host, Juvie the Kid. Hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, at J-U-V-Y-T-H-A-K-I-D. All my quiet kids, freaks and weirdos, for the love of everybody, keep being weird. Damn, I should have filmed the life lessons on this angle. My bad for the shitty lighting during the life lessons, folks. I failed you. So there's something I just want to talk about really quick. Um... I don't know. We we we've kind of talked about it on the channel before. Is like when do you uh, when do you separate like the artist like the artist's creations from that person? Like uh, when do you separate the actor and their work from their regular like life choices or whatever? You know what I mean? Um, here's the thing. Like there's tons of old artists and authors and scholars that people look up to. People quote. People spread their artworks every day, you know what I mean? Um, and they all had issues, like, on their own. Picasso and Einstein apparently had a love for the ladies, even though they had wives. H.P. Lovecraft was fucking super racist, you know what I mean? He was terrified of immigrants for, a, like, a long time. Like, you know, it's just, it's one of these things where, you know, sometimes it it's in these weird, troubled minds of like where like 
these new thoughts come from. It's it's weird, you know. It's um, it's the I, I guess some of it is like somewhat this weird artist struggle. You know what I mean? Um, some people believe to create something truly like you know I guess inspiring or uh, I don't know. So insert whatever word here. You know what I mean? In, inspiring, uh, original, groundbreaking, whatever it is. Um, you kind of have to have a troubled mind of some sort. So for me, um, you know, I'm not racist or anything like that. I'm not sexist or anything. Um, I would say that, I don't know, I have, I have a weird obsession with like death. Like I, I always have since I was a child. Um, it's not just like the fact of like the presence of, of ghosts and like the paranormal, like the paranormal entities. Uh, for me, it's like, how did they get there? Did they already also, did they already dwell in the, in a, in a different dimension or at some point, like, were they somebody else? You know what I mean? And just like did through their death or whatever, they've, they've been trapped in this. Um, I don't know. I guess like I've struggled with it myself. You know what I mean? Through like suicidal shit and everything like when I was younger and it's just I don't know I still you know I still struggle with it nowadays and I think like it's weird because like being all it's fucked up because like always being on this weird edge like in my mind kind of like is always pushing me to create like different things you know what I mean like Mr. Crane um you know he's not a regular character um He's died many, many times, you know what I mean? He's, you know, spoken with many, many gods because of a certain, like, because, like, they kind of, they've chosen him in a way. Um, I don't know, it's just, you like, you can look back at my, sh at some of the short films and, like, re like, get more of an understanding of, I guess, what I'm trying to say about the whole paranormal stuff. Um, you know, it's just, it's one of those things, like, to... It's hard to, at some point, you know, kind of be like, well, this person has a shitty way of looking at the world in this sense, but in almost every other sense, they're, they're inspiring, they're basically geniuses. Um, it's a weird struggle, you know what I mean? I think it comes down to, what is this, what is the person really doing? Because, okay, just for example, H.P. Lovecraft. Yes, he was racist. He didn't, like, he didn't think too kindly of immigrants for a very long time. But it also could be argued that through that fear is kind of what helped create a lot of his stories. Uh, depending on how uh, you think of it, there I, there's some people out there that believe, uh, you know, Lovecraft was kind of onto something um, or whatever else. I would love to discuss it with some of the folks if you're familiar with his works. Um, but you know, it's through that like weird fear of like other cultures and other like practices coming in, you could argue that that inspired like these, these cosmic beings coming down and striking that fear in us. Like we're, we're terrified of them because we don't know what they're going to do because they look so different. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. It's just, it's. It's also a weird thing, like, I know it's such a shitty excuse, but it's, it's also like a kind of like a, I don't know, it's like a, it's like a sign of the times as well. Um, there's certain instances, like, through people's work, you can really, you can really tell, like, what their surrounding was, and, like, what kind of, like, social constructs or whatever they were dealing with at that time. Um, for a very long time, you know what I mean, it might have been considered... Uh, the way to think for uh, a gentleman of some areas to only be like worried about your, I don't want to say like your culture, or your, you know what I mean? Like f just trying to focus on the race shit, but you know, it to have like your way of life threatened and everything and be considered like a, the way a gentleman would think is that like, you know, we have to preserve this. We have to preserve the prestige uh, of these practices, you know? So I don't know. It's weird. It's 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 hard to just you know paint everything with the same brushstroke and be like, well, this is what you do. You know what I mean? It's uh, 
I don't know. It's fucking weird. It's 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 hard to say like, you know, when do you, when do you just say I can't fuck with this person at all or their artwork because of this choice? Um because like I said, you know what I mean? They might have a weird shitty view in this one area, but then in like every other area they're fucking geniuses or whatever have you. Um it's weird. I would love to hear the hooligans thoughts. Uh I've been kind of dwelling on this for a long time. Um, I'm always just kind of, I don't know, I like seeing the darker side of artists as well. Like what, you know, it's easy just to be like, uh, just for example, it's easy to be like, oh, Van, Van Gogh was a beautiful artist. He was inspiring, genius when it came to that. But it was, it would also be very easy to say, well, he's probably... Like, I'm not saying Van Gogh was racist, because I don't, I, I don't know for sure. This is all just an example. Um, you know, do we now, if, if it turned out like Van Gogh was actually very racist, would it, like, do we now look at Starry Starry Night and don't enjoy it anymore? Like, we can't, you know, have love for that same artwork because of the, this man's views in one area? It's weird, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know. With a lot of people, like, shit, some people, they, like, I don't know, it's weird, because, like, because of the whole me, like, being kind of, like, really, like, interested and, like, intrigued by this whole, like, the paranormal and, like, death and stuff like that, you know, there's some people who have worried about my kids and everything, which is r fucking ridiculous, um, but I don't know, that's what people do. So, I would love to hear the hooligans. Hit me up on Twitter or Instagram or even just comment below, um, you know, do we discredit the artist's or the scholars work because of uh, a view they might have had, regardless of if that view is a, like a, a sign of the times and some of their work might be technically like uh, records of that time that we can look at, you know, just when do, when do we draw the line when it comes to like artists, uh, scholars, whatever it might be. Got a little chilly, I had to grab the toque. So, an honorable mention, I totally, I should have mentioned this during the life lessons segment, um, but either way, an honorable mention uh, for like one of the travels that I would love to do, uh, I would love to go to France and take the journey that Gaston Leroux did um, for Phantom of the Opera. Um, there's a really crazy, like I don't know, there's a really crazy story about it and everything. Um, I don't know, if you want, I just, I can't, I don't want to try and recap everything right now and I'll fuck it up. Uh, just search on the channel, the Phantom of the o Opera unboxing and like history kind of thing. Cause I talk about a lot of like uh, how Gaston Leroux felt about uh, the Phantom and everything. It's, it's, it's really interesting. It's always, uh, it's always had my attention through life. So I would definitely ha uh, love to take that trip as well. Kind of like take the same little journey that he did. Um, yeah. So that's my honorable mention, France. All right, just finished some lunch, had a nice little turkey and egg plate. It was very delicious. Um, let, I just kind of wanted to throw something out there. Uh, I was watching a documentary yesterday about H.P. Lovecraft. Apologies for bringing him up again. Um, but it just, I don't know, it made me realize something. So for a long time in my life, you know what I mean? It was, I, I don't know how to elaborate on it other than like, you know, actually, if you go way back in my Instagram, I referenced it too, you know, like, uh, the ancient ones and stuff like that. It's, it's these beings that, you know, just, they existed before us, before, like, I don't know, maybe before Earth, who knows. Um, and I always felt like that was something that, like, was out there in the world, you know, and it wasn't really until I discovered authors and other artists that had those same things, you know what I mean, like H.P. Lovecraft, you know, the old ones and stuff like that. Um, it's just, if you feel like you're an outcast, you feel like you're alone or anything, um, I don't know, just check out some documentaries about like certain authors or just like artwork and stuff of them, you know what I mean? And I don't know, I, you might not feel like you're, you, you know, you're an outcast so much. You'll realize like other people have that same you know, creative mind that you do. So I don't know, just don't, don't feel like bad if you're like, if you think a certain way or you think the world, you know, exists in a certain way, you know what I mean? Because you're not alone. Other people have had those thoughts too. Other people have had, you know, many other thoughts. So, you know, just reach out, find some like inspiration and find people that'll have like those common thoughts with you. 
It's also really cool because uh, YouTube has a lot of these like full documentaries and everything on there so you can always just check them out really easily too. And his beard was angelic in the light. Alright, this is just a little test thing because uh, since I've moved the green screen or whatever, I just want to make sure it's at least still going to work. Um, I can already kind of see on the little viewfinder there, I might have to adjust the lighting a little bit. Uh, that's okay. I made sure to get extension cords like for the lamps so I can move them closer if need be. Um, but yeah, I think it, I think it'll be okay. You know what I mean? Um, I gotta decide. I think I might extend it across this way. You know what I mean? Just so I have like a kind of bigger space. Um, kind of have this area as like the workout slash green screen area. Um, but yeah, hopefully this works. Uh, apologies if it isn't like the best quality. It will like I will get this figured out. You know what I mean? More finely tuned. Uh, this is just the first test of like the new area. So, bam. Should be good. Alright, good folks. That concludes the last vlog of the year. It's been a crazy year. Jesus Christ. Hit, hit up my Instagram. Posted a bunch of like pick edits that I've done and really I said over the past year but I just I really started getting into those over the past few months um I think on the podcast for Sunday I'll go through like the year in review things uh kind of just talk about like some of the videos and stuff that we've done over the past year uh might go in detail about some of the short films actually like go more in like uh depth with like the theme and whatever of it we'll see what happens I don't know <coughs> Either way, whether you've watched one vlog or you've watched them all this year, uh, it's mucho appreciated. Thank you for always supporting these shenanigans. Um, I don't know. It's been an awesome outlet to have in my life, and it's just it's been a lot of fun. You know what I mean? Um, and I wouldn't have it without all the folks out there. So thank you very much. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment below. I might not reply, but as long as it's positive, I read them all. Give you a little thumbs up so you know I've read it. Let's roll the outro. I want to play a game.